Here's the machine in action on a smallish piece of carpet. The binding runs around the edge. The starting and finishing point is on a straight side in the middle. The quick step binding tape is used. The tape runs round the measuring attachment which tells the operator the total length of the binding per piece of carpet. Work the machine up to about one centimeter before the corner, then stop. The correct position for turning at the corner is reached by using the hand wheel. For inside curves, guide the machine directly and closely along the curve. For small curves, it is recommended to work in steps. Stop every three centimeters, raise the top roller feed, push the carpet into the binder, put in two to three stitches on the spot and then continue. For outside curves from a radius of about five centimeters upwards, the carpet can be guided around the machine without stopping. For inside corners, alignment with the edge must be exact. The wide zigzag stitch is selected. In the corner, the piece of carpet is folded back through 90 degrees to the left. The machine runs into the corner as far as the pivot point. For zigzag stitch, the needle is on the right. The top roll of feed is raised and the carpet is turned to the back through 90 degrees. Now check that the corner with the zigzag stitch is cleanly finished. The right hand thrust of the needle should catch and stitch the binding tape. If necessary, use scissor tips to push the tape into position. With the top roller raised, two to three stitches are then made on the spot. Lower the top roller and carry on sewing. As you can see, pointed corners can also be handled. The overlap of the end and the beginning of the old and fresh binding tape rolls should be about one centimeter. First, cut off the start of the tape cleanly and close to the carpet. The tape is cut off diagonally right next to the binder. The machine runs on and joins head and tail. For this job, you need a good pair of scissors. The join should be glued with a color neutral adhesive or, if a naked flame is permitted, welded with a cigarette lighter. The two color Pisa tapes allow striking and decorative contrasts, especially on single color carpets. The setting on the machine is the same as for the quick step tapes. The measuring attachment is very useful for measuring skirting strips. The binding tape runs around the trailing wheel. The counter can be reset for each job. With the skirting strip stop accessory, the cut strips are automatically fed into the machine. In addition, the speed binder has an adjustable constant running switch. When mounting skirting strip along the wall, it is an advantage to use long lengths of strip. For the speed binder, an easy task. The separate strips are joined with a one-sided adhesive tape and the joints are sewn close together without a gap. Laying skirting strips on stairs requires both inside and outside corner pieces, which can be perfectly produced with the speed binder. Outside corner pieces are placed tip to tip. The inside corner pieces are laid firmly one on top of the other. The speed binder sews about three to four meters of skirting strip in a minute, about 200 meters an hour. To finish off, the ends of the skirting strip can also be trimmed. Even under tension, the joins remain closed and show no gaps.
Our range of binding tapes also includes particularly hard-wearing polyamide tapes with a hard finish and a velour surface. We recommend this material for binding stair mats, foot mats and similar products. The machine is set up in just the same way. When putting on the Perlon velour tapes, pay attention to the direction of the runoff. The velour side is visible on the edge of the carpet. Working with velour tape, it is important that the carpet is fed smoothly along the binder. The tape is neatly sewn at the corners. The machine runs to the edge of the carpet. The needle remains in the carpet with the right hand zigzag stitch. The carpet is turned. To sew up the mitre fold, raise the top roller and put two to three stitches into the pearl on velour tape in the corner. With the law tape, no additional work is required at the join in the middle. No need for gluing or welding. 